¿Cómo están? How are you guys? What are you doing? Um, I'm here with my plants. Um, look, that's my little jelly bean plant guy. And we're just chilling. There's not much going on. Um, I hope you guys are doing all right. I hope you're doing well. Um, sorry, I wasn't looking at the camera. Now I'm looking at the camera. Um, yeah, I, I, I miss you guys. I hope you're making it through well this weird time. If you need anything, please reach out to me. Um, let me know how you're doing. And yeah, this is now day three of e-learning. And really, like, you guys are pretty impressive. Very good job the last few days. So many people have been turning in this work and you guys have been doing really well. So I just want you to know that I'm very proud of you. It, it like I'm excited to, to get your work, to read what you're doing, to see your scores on these assignments, and to see how well you guys are doing. So please keep it up. Nice work. I know that this is a weird time and it's weird to be doing school in this way, but you guys are doing a really, really good job. So keep it up. Thumbs up. Good job. Um, I have other things to say. Your work for today is uh, continuing on with vocabulary and grammar. So as before, you have two vocabulary worksheets. Tomorrow I think there's only going to be one. But today there's two vocabulary worksheets. And it's similar to what you've been doing. You're going to be doing some more writing with the physical description vocab. So pull that out. I hope it's becoming a little bit easier as we go. Uh, and you're becoming hopefully a little bit more familiar with these words. And you're finding it easier to come up with these descriptions. So you'll continue doing that today. Um, then the grammar section is going to be another Socrative, similar to what we did yesterday. Yesterday you turned in... Um, a Socrative about possessive adjectives, mi, mis, tu, tus, su, sus, nuestro, nuestra, nuestros, and nuestras. Today we're doing another one that's very similar, and the reason I wanted to do another one is because I saw your scores for the first one, and a lot of people got the same ones wrong. So, I want to explain a little bit, and hopefully that will make it easier today, and you'll understand what it was that you got wrong. So... Here's a little lesson. I want to start with the words su and sus. Su and sus have a lot of different meanings in English. They can mean his, her, her, their, theirs, it's, your, yours, all of these things, okay? So, I'm gonna give you an example sentence because I need you to know when to use su and when to use sus. So here's an example. The sentence, my brothers run with their cat. My brothers run with their cat. In Spanish, that is mis hermanos corren con su gato. Mis hermanos corren con su gato. My brothers run with their cat. I used the word su because that would mean their in, in this context. They run with their even though I have my brothers, plural, mis hermanos, I only use su, not su. The reason I use su is because I'm only talking about one cat. Whether I use su or su depends on the thing that I'm referring to, the, the thing that these people own. In this case, it's my brothers owning a cat. It's their cat, but it's only one cat. So it doesn't matter that there's a whole bunch of brothers. The fact is there's only one cat. So it's that word, gato, since that's singular, I have to use the singular form of su, all right? So the sentence, mis hermanos corren con su gato, is correct and means my brothers run with their cat. Now, if my brothers have a bunch of cats, it changes. Mis hermanos corren con sus gatos. If there's a bunch of cats, gatos, now I have to use sus. Multiple cats means I have to change, use the plural form of their. Now I'm saying my brothers run with their cats, plural. Okay, does that make sense? Nod. I hope it makes sense. Because I can't tell if you're nodding or if you're shaking your head. But, if you're shaking your head, please send me an email and I might be able to explain it. Now let's 
try another one with the words nuestra, 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 nuestra. All of those words, those four words, nuestro, nuestra, nuestros, and nuestras, they all mean our. Okay? So, if I'm talking about our uncle, uncle is masculine. And there's only one of them that I'm talking about. I'm talking about one uncle, our uncle. Then I would say nuestro tío, our uncle. If it's an aunt, not an uncle, then, then that's feminine, right? So it'd be tía, and I'd have to use the feminine version of the word our. So it'd be nuestra tía, right? Then if I'm talking about a bunch of uncles, tíos, I would have to use nuestros, nuestros tíos. And if there's a bunch of aunts, it would be nuestra, nuestra, tía. Either way, all four of those words mean our. And the version that you use has to match the things that you are owning. In this case, I'm like, they're our uncles or our aunts. Because they belong to us, they're our uncles and aunts. Um, then it's the uncles and aunts that I'm talking about. So, depending on whether it's masculine, feminine, singular, or plural, that's how you decide to use nuestro or nuestro. That's all for today. I miss you guys. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Send me messages if you have any questions. Um, I'm happy to help you out if this isn't making sense. You're doing a good job. This is weird. Everything about this is weird, but keep up the good work and we're going to get through this together. Bye. Hasta luego. Nos vemos mañana.